Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do low poly terrains and going to show you how to do two styles and you can use this for your own scenes and landscapes and things like that. And I'm going to show you a method that will allow you to make more more um, custom like and stuff like when you usually use like the a height map which already give you a, already gives you like a predefined landscape or even using the ant landscape um, add-on which is pretty cool but it's really hard to get what you're looking for especially when you have already that idea on your head so the first thing I'm going to do is add some screen caskets so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to delete my whole scene and I'm going to add a plane and I'm going to show you first one style I'm going to scroll this by 8 and I want you to add uh, some subdivisions, subdivide, 40. Okay, perfect. So for this first style, um, I want you to go get the C key and select an area kind of like this. This should work fine. Perfect. And I want you to press O, and for the fall off, we want the sharp fall off for proportional editing. And I want to move those up. Now I'm going to select some different ones. And this gives it kind of like that canyon look, which is pretty cool, or that plateau mountain look, which is really, really nice for certain landscapes. If it's what you want, then it's pretty cool. So if we go into the modifiers tab, we can first of all you can try angulate the faces and it gives it a really really nice look. I mean just compare it. It's much nicer this way. And you can also if you if you want you can add a subdivision, which honestly I wouldn't, and then do that some decimate which is right here and just lower this down quite a bit it gives it a different look you can do it without the subdivision and just uh, lower the faces well I think it looks pretty cool just like this so now let's do the second style which is more of a conventional mountain rangey kind of look so let's make a plane scale 8 and I want you to go to tab for edit mode and I want you to subdivide this by 40 again. And this time I'm only going to select a few vertices. Just like this. This will be more or less kind of like our mountain range. And I want you actually we want the smooth fall off. And let's make this bigger, a bit bigger, perfect. So now I'm going to select a few other vertices, not the same ones though, and make that go higher. And now let's uh, go vertice by vertice, and let's make that look like a mountain range. So that looks pretty cool, actually. And we can also make add some slopes around there to pretty nice. And also just like a middle of the plane, as it looks kind of boring. And stuff like that. And now we want to make this look really really cool with the random fall off. So just select one of the vertices. Just move up. And as you can see it makes it look, it takes out that uh, erosion look, which is pretty nice. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial, and well, you can also add materials. So uh, let's go for in this one, let's add a, a brownish look that looks pretty cool 
and let's make another one. This will be grass. And I'm going to just select like the base. And I'm going to assign this. And as you can see, that looks pretty cool. But if we try angulate this, it looks nicer. And we can also use some decimate. Make this lower. So this is all for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. And see you in the next one. Bye.